Hi, it's Pavel with a C Sharp homework. Uh, we will be uh, doing some exception handling. Uh, they want us to write a program that uh, shows a constructor passing information about the constructor failure to an exception handler. The exception thrown also should contain the argument sent to the constructor. In other words, we will create an object and straight, right when we create it, when you know we supply arguments to the constructor, the constructor will return uh, an exception that we will be handling. Okay, so um, for this exercise, I've decided to do the division by zero uh, exception. So I'm going to do that. I created two, uh, one class called test class. That's the one that uh, will have the constructor that will return the failure. So uh, I will do a few variables. Uh, integer x, they all private. I like to spell it out, so it's private x. Uh, private integer y, and I will do private integer total. Now let's do the constructor. I will do test class that will accept an integer x and an integer y. And in the constructor, we will do the try catch block, and we will try to do assign some variables, uh, our x, our private x will equal to the user supplied x, and our private y will equal to y. So we have the variables assigned. We could use properties too, you know, but uh, for this example, let's just do it quickly this way. And we will do a little calculation in the try block. Our total will equal to, we will try to divide x, divided by y. All right, we will do the catch block and we will call um, the division divided by zero exception. Let's call it x and it will return, um, it will rethrow the exception, throw a new uh, divide by exception by zero exception with a custom message and the message will be well we can do we can do the official message you know from the system but we will add to it uh, on a new line let's start a new line so you tried to pass and we will add those uh, variables that are our x and the y. So this message will, the x dot message will display the system message for the divide by zero exception. And then on new line, we will display, you try to pass whatever the x is and whatever the y is. All right, so let's go to our uh, main method and uh, we'll, we'll do another try block here and we will try to instantiate the object. So we will do uh, test equals new uh, test class and we will pass some values, uh, some integers, let's say 10 for x and let's say zero, so we subdivision by zero for y. All right, and in our catch over here, we will catch the uh, division by zero exception, and we will output the message console dot right line, and it's going to be the x dot message. And at the end of it, I will do console dot read line so we pause the screen. Okay, so we are trying to divide by zero, which will obviously trigger the catch. It will go over here, it will try to instantiate the object. 
but it will fail. So we will throw the exception zero uh, divided by zero and create a custom message. And uh, over here I'm missing a plus. That's why uh, that was a squiggly line. It, this custom message is then passed to this sketch and displayed on this line. So let's see how that works. And we get a, we attempted to divide by zero, which is the official system message. And over here you, you have, you try to pass 10 and zero, which are the variables we try to pass. So this message works fine. Uh, to prove we can, uh, that these messages can be combined, over here we can do uh, a simple the message is and then we'll add uh, the messages from the test class. So what we will see is this will be first uh, displayed first, then it goes to new line, then it displays the x dot message, which will say it attempted to divide by zero. That's the official system message. And then on new line, it will say you try to pass 10 for x and zero for y. So let's uh, let's see how that works now. And here you have it. The message is attempted to divide by zero. You try to pass 10 and zero. And uh, you may think that this x dot message is the is this one, the attempted to divide by zero, because you know that's the official message, but it is actually not. What this is is this whole thing. And I can prove it. Uh, let's just uh, simply delete this thing. So there will be no official system message. It will simply say you try to pass zero and y, even though it still says x that message in the main method. So let's run that. And you have the messages. You try to pass them and zero. No system message at all because like i said this x that message isn't just a system message or, or any it's no it is not a message from uh, from this class from class program that is actually the we throw a new divide uh, by zero exception and a custom message that we assign to it that is what is being displayed and passed into this uh, object ex okay so uh, I'll go back to display the whole thing again like that so um, that's really all they wanted us to do like just to make sure that we understand how uh, the constructor can return a custom message with you know with the variables and any information that we need to correct the uh, pro problem so uh, I hope uh, this helped you, and I will see you next time. Take care.